about um, sure. menstruating cycles and how that is affected by vaccines. Yeah, though, well, the menstrual thing uh, is, is something that seems to be quite transient and, and temporary. That's the point. That's one of the points. We need to study it more. Oh, we need to study it more. <laughs> we need to study it more. It's just like human fertility, reproducing the species, the most important event in most people's lives. We need to study it more. Oh, but it's too late. We just forced millions of women to take that drug. Sorry. So how did they release a vaccine and then make it mandatory when they didn't understand the long-term effects of the drug? That's a very good question. Here's Deborah Burks. She's the former White House COVID response director, again on Fox News. I knew these vaccines were not going to protect against infection, and I think we overplayed the vaccines, and it made people then worry that it's not going to protect against severe disease and hospitalization. It will, but let's be very clear. 50% of the people who died from the Omicron surge were older, vaccinated. <laughs> what? Stop the pre Quote. I knew these vaccines were not going to protect against infection. Really, Deborah Burks. But somehow you forgot to mention that as people were being fired from their jobs for not taking this on the premise that if they took it, they would never be infected. When do you get criminally charged? Soon, we hope. And then there's the effect of the COVID vaccines on the elderly, the population most at risk. According to The Lancet, no less than vaccinated people around Joe Biden's age are 80% more likely to become sick after taking the COVID shot as compared to unvaccinated people. Wait, what? 80% more likely to become sick after taking the shot that was supposed to prevent them from getting sick? How is this not the banner headline? It's being ignored.